What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 154 update. This week they've added cows and some new resources and a ton of new food to go with that as well. We get some news of the assault rifle coming next week and so much more. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 154 brings cows and milk and cheese, most importantly. You can now bring cows down from the workshop and you can rear them and get milk and cheese from them. So that means there's multiple new recipes available this week as well. And also some new trophies. And they got us a little preview of the new weapon coming next week, which is the assault rifle. They also say that if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, uh, you may want to go back to 56109 because there's issues currently. So just a little memo there. And this week's notable improvements are as follows. Deepwood veins, which we showed last week, will be now appearing on existing prospects. Last week, we weren't able to see those on existing prospects, but now we can. Stone jaws now take damage while wet if they are enraged, and wetness is removed from them after five seconds, and the fire extinguisher is an effective anti-stone jaw weapon. They fixed the final mission, the Null Sector Finality mission, where you can get three points, and if you did it before, all your characters will receive three bonus talent points once only. And they reduced the fire damage from teenage cave worms. And here we are on an existing prospect. And now we have the frozen truck deposit for the wood in the null sector. And you're able to see our base and all that good stuff on here. So this is on existing prospects now. So this is interesting. We're supposed to be able to do something with the stone jaw. Whenever it uh, is in, enraged, we should be able to squirt it with some water from the fire extinguisher. So let's go find one. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I do this. Oh, look, and now we got us a little stone jaw here we'll play around with. See if we can't get him to enrage. There it is. Spray him with that. Oh, look, he stopped. Now he's taking damage. So we will take a little bit of damage. It's not a lot. So you can actually kill a stone jaw with a fire extinguisher, it looks like. Which is pretty neat. Only when he's enraged. You notice that we're doing it whenever he's not enraged and he's not taking any damage. So just whenever he's on fire, you gotta watch out whenever he's on fire. And of course the main attraction this week is cows and milk and also the recipes they bring. You can now purchase calves from the orbital workshop and bring them down to your prospects. Then you raise them to cows, same way you raise other animals. When they mature, they become cows and periodically produce milk if they are kept fed and watered. Two new items, the milk pail and milk bottle also are added into Icarus, which allows you to collect milk. The milk pail, which is craftable in the anvil, holds five liters of milk, but the milk will spoil, and if spoiled will empty out of the pail. The bottles, craftable at the glassworking bench, hold two liter, but the milk inside will not spoil. You can craft milk into cream or cheese or even drink it on its own for a stamina buff. And then we have cream and cheese. They can be used now to make some new recipes, which includes butter, halova, bacon buddies, cheese pizza, and rolls. And more coming in the future. So let's check all this out. Let's go over the unlock, shall we? So the very first unlock you're gonna see is in tier two. At the very beginning here, the milk pail right above the watering can. And it's just steel ingots and steel screws to craft that. You have to have an anvil or better to craft it. And in tier three, towards the end here, you're gonna notice next to the glass bottle and glass jar, we now have the glass milk bottle. And it requires seven glass and a glass working bench for it to be crafted. So that's how you store milk. Let's show you how to get milk and bring the cows down. When you're in the workshop, all you have to do is go down to creatures and at the very beginning here, right above the chickens, you'll notice we now have the cryogenically frozen calf. It's a calf preserved and it can be deployed and defrosted on planet. And it requires 500 Ren and 250 exotics to research and 250 per calf to craft. So all you gotta do is bring that down or bring it down with your mission or bring it down with the OER. And once it drops down, all you gotta do is just kind of take it into your inventory and put it down on the ground. And you just place it wherever you're gonna put your calves at. We got a few little calves out here already. This is what the calves look like. They look good. Look cool little calves. But they're gonna grow up and become nice beef pet. I mean, uh, and then what you need to do is come over here and just hit E. And you'll notice a calf comes out. 
you just gotta make sure its temperature is good, which it is. It needs a place to sleep, and it just needs some food. And we're just gonna let them kind of grow up and uh, do cow things, and we'll show you what they look like when they're grown up. Also, the mention there is a taming progress. If all three of those needs on the bottom are met, you're gonna notice that it is taming, and it will tame all the way up to 100%, where it will then become a cow. I just heard a moo sound, and there's a cow. Uh, buttercup. Hello. We're gonna name you Juicy Hamburger. And you can sit here and hit X and pat your cow, like so. And you can see there is a milk percentage on it. So, uh, it doesn't have milk yet. Oh, and it moved. Nice. They do have follow and wander commands. They also have the passive command only. And they have their own skill tree, it looks like. It looks like coziness, physical resistance, veggie modifier, coziness, perceived threat, food consumption, health regeneration, less resources consumed per producing milk, which is actually pretty nice. Health regeneration, maximum health, milk produced, which will be awesome, the Holstein harvest, and some coziness and enable grazing, which would be nice. That would be awesome, actually. It's got its own talent trees and all that good stuff. And it looks like now we have two cows. Oh, look, Milky. You know, that's a perfect name. And we're just waiting for this calf here to mature. Oh, God. And now it's cow. Um, and... <laughs> Just go up to it, hit E, claim your ownership. Sorry, there's a storm going on. And then name this cow. Name this cow. Right now. Name it. Down below. Name it. We're going to leave it as, I guess, Milky for now. But name this cow. It needs a name. It needs a name. Well, this is a nasty storm. Oh, my God. What is this? A tornado? Oh, no. Hopefully the cows don't go around in circles. It's a red. I haven't had. I haven't been in a red in a while. Ow! Oh my God! <laughs> Get in cows! They're killing people out here. Back to figuring out cow stuff. So now they got a little bit of milk in them. So what we need to do now is we need to get a device to extract milk out of them. I'm gonna go ahead and make these at the foundry, but you can see the milk pail, which is 10 steel ingots and 15 steel screws. You can craft it. And also we need the glass milk bottle and that's in the glass working bench. And you can craft those as well. And those are seven glass per. But unfortunately they do not stack, it looks like. Alrighty, who's ready for a milking? Let's see, it looks like all of you are. Oh, that one's not. Uh, these are, they're ready for a milking. So we're gonna go and we're gonna either pick up our pail or our bottle. It doesn't matter which one you do. We're gonna use the bottle here first. And we're gonna put a little bit of milk in there and then we're gonna go over to the next one and fill it up all the way so now we have one whole milk bottle full of milk and the pail of course will hold a lot more so we have to go through all of our cows here and see if we can get as much milk as we can to fill up this whole entire container or wait a little bit longer and let them fill up with some more milk so as long as they're fed and watered and happy they should ooh, look produce some more milk oh i got one down here nice let me just grab your milk. Thank you. And yes, cows swim. <laughs> we're gonna take a little look at the milk buff that it gives here for the glass milk bottle. If you were to drink that, you do get a plus 40% stamina regeneration, plus 10% fall resistance, and plus 10% shared experience gain. So another experience food. And as you can see here, it does not spoil. There is no spoiling to it, it looks like, but it does have a little blue ring. I guess that's the milk icon now. And it just lasts for 300 seconds. Gives you strong bones, it says. Milk was considered food of the gods in ancient cultures. <laughs> but you will notice in the milk pail, it does have a three hours until it spoils. So basically it says that it expires if it's in the pail, but if it's in the milk glass bottle, it does not expire. So this is a new resource that doesn't expire and it gives you food. We also get two craftable resources, which is butter and cream. Cream requires milk. And then of course you have to have animal fat as well. And that will craft you cream to get butter you need three creams and three salts so you have to have some salt and some cream to make butter so we're going to make some cream here you can craft this at the mortar pestle or any of the higher benches as well and once you have that cream 
you can now make butter and we're gonna make some butter here as well. Two, it looks like two sticks of butter. It looks like it used all that milk that we had in there already. So you're gonna need a lot of milk. Hello girls. Boop. Boop. Come here, give me milk. Boop. Grab some more milk from our cows. They're fed and happy, so they're generating milk. And then we'll make some more la crème. And butter and cream can be placed in any kind of refrigerator or deep freezer. So you can craft a bunch of it and kind of stock it up for later or for crafting. Well, guess it's time to milk the cows again. Let's go milk the cows so we can get some butter and cream. Mmm, yum, yum, milk. And it looks like per milk pail, you can get about five cream. So that's how to make the butter and the cream. We're going to teach you how to make cheese next. And cheese is going to give you 100 maximum health, plus 10% shared experience gain, and 25 health regeneration. If you were to eat cheese straight up, and you can do so. You cannot eat cream or butter, though. They're a resource. Cheese is an actual food. These items and combined with several other ones are going to be able to make all the new recipes that's in the game. Let's show you those. First, we're going to go over the ones in the kitchen bench here. We got the marble one here and that's four of them in the bottom here. We can see this is cheese and you can craft five cheeses at a time. You just need milk, salt, soybean and beeswax. So you do need bees to be able to make cheese. I guess that's for the wax coating on the cheese so that's cheese and then cheese goes into other things as well we'll show you that later we have strawberries and cream that is going to give you plus 50 maximum health plus 100 maximum stamina and 30 percent experience gained that just takes two cream and four strawberry we also have bacon buddy and that's bread crispy bacon and butter and it's going to give you 150 maximum health 125 maximum stamina 25 health regeneration, 25% experience gained, and plus 25% critical damage. So that's pretty nice. And it gives you actually three of those. You can make pastries as well. You need water, butter, and flour. And that's going to make five pastries per one butter and five flour. That's all the recipes we see here in the kitchen bench. We're moving over to the electric stove here. And in the electric stove in the very bottom, we're going to go over the other recipes that they added in the game. That is going to be crispy bacon. You can make a version of crispy bacon. This is probably the least efficient version. Because you see, you can still make crispy bacon with just animal fat, which is probably the best way to do it because butter is a process in of itself. We have contains coffee with cream. This is interesting. This is a plus 10% to temperature plus 25% maximum stamina and plus 25% stamina regeneration. And you can put this in your canteens and stuff like that. So you can actually upload these to the workshop and drop down on other prospects with these. That's very interesting. You have the stamina regeneration and the maximum stamina whenever you use this. So this is very valuable. And then we have Pavlova and Pavlova will give you a ton of food, 200 food looks like when consumed. It'll give you 125 maximum health plus 75 maximum stamina, 20% chance to find additional stone when mining and plus a 20% chance to resist cave sickness as well as reload speed and charge speed. So it's actually going to help you if you've got a really fast build where you do a really fast reload, this is going to increase that even more as we've shown before in past update videos. We have the cheese pizza slice, and this is eight slices. The past one was two. This is eight. You get eight cheese pizza slices for the cost of five cheese, three tomatoes, and two flat bread doughs. And cheese pizza gives 125 maximum health, 75 maximum stamina, 10% shared experience gained, 5% experience gained, and plus 50% stamina regeneration. That's amazing. Plus... 50% stamina regeneration with your cheese pizza. So that's your cheese pizza. It's a really nice bus food. And last we have the cheese roll that is cheese, bread, dough, and butter. And that is 150 maximum health, 125 maximum stamina, plus 10% shared experience gained, and plus 10% experience gained, and plus 25% health regeneration. And that is the cheese roll and what it looks like. And that is all the recipes they've added with the new cheese, butter, and cream that you can make in the game. Also, if any dev is watching this, hey, is there any way you can fix disappearing structures? I just lost another deep freezer. I, I just can't even anymore. It was all my meat, actually, and no bag was there. So maybe telling yourself, Josh, this is all fine and dandy, but what is inside of these black and white pinatas? So we're going to try to figure out what's inside of them. And that leads to our next point. 
there's new vestiges in the game. Right? So we have our Xenon backpack on that's going to give us a 100% chance to get a creature vestige. And we're going to go ahead and skin this calf and get the calf vestige. And we got two of them actually for some reason. Get the calf vestige and it looks like all we get is just some raw meat from the calf. And then from the full size cow, we are getting a cow vestige and some gamey meat and look at all that meat from slaughtering that cow we get all kinds of gamey meat and all kinds of raw meat for slaughtering a cow this will come in handy since my meat fridge disappeared and then you just come to the bottom of the trophy and you see calf trophy and you can craft that with refined wood and a calf vestige and then you'll see a question icon or cow trophy and that'll craft a cow trophy and the same refined wood and a cow vestige and then look at them they're so cute they're so cute. Look at them. Little cow heads on the wall. Look how cute they are. The calf is adorable. It really is. It almost makes me wish it was alive again. This week, we also get news of early next year. We're going to have some husbandry. That's going to be where we can actually raise animals such as cows, bulls, chickens, roosters, sheep, and rams. And you're going to be able to breed your animals and create juvenile ones which is really cool. And they're looking at some inherited traits, maybe further down the road. And they're also going to update the talent tree, include these changes and a few features that have been added over the years, but haven't been incorporated into the tree fully. And we get a sneak peek of what a chicken or chick looks like. And we have the calf there and a bull, of course. And next week we get the assault rifle. And this is the second weapon they've released within the last few weeks. First being the flamethrower. And this is Icarus's first automatic rifle, which may seem overkill for the current foe you encounter, but will make a lot more sense in upcoming features that require a bit more firepower. So in things to come. We got the change log. Let's skim over this, shall we? In the new content section, we'll skim over that. For now, calves only grow up into cows not bulls and in this section here it does confirm that cows hold a maximum of 30 liters of milk at a time and there is cow bestiary in the game any workshop crate that spawns a juvenile will make it follow the player automatically and other than that looks like everything we've went over already and in the fixed section we're going to take a gander looks like the fire extinguisher uses water more looks like they reduce the amount of hitching when opening loadout screen via orbital exchange interface and we'll take a gander at the future content as well quick prototype of mission radio device that accesses the contact device when held in your hand so you can kick missions off while not being at a contact device that's pretty neat set up great hunt device as a device brought from orbit and the great hunt device can now access hunts and open crafting menu depending on interact point looks like they added all kinds of items here to the great hunt device looks like we might have a rock golem trophy lamp so the rock golem is going to be a great hunt it looks like and an ice version of the rock golem check this out add a dep landing pad tier 4 with meshes animation textures and materials also added the meshes for the bp still need to add lights to bp landing pad looks like you'll have some golem trophies looks like a mission with a mining platform in it and we're gonna have apes swinging in trees Rock Golem Chair, Lava Hunter Flamethrower Legendary Weapon. Looks like they're working on barn doors and stuff like that. So we will have an Ice Mammoth Boss, Hammerhead Slug Boss, and it looks like an Ape and a Rock Golem Boss. Looks like we may be getting a new bed as well, Quilted Double, and a Rocking Chair. Looks like they're talking about a teleport, and it looks like we're going to have multiple cape flavors. And that's it for this change log. Lots and lots of future content for sure. And that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribing will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. Also, just to let everybody know, we are going to be taking this week off for streaming. We got to do a little bit of work IRL and pay some bills and all that good stuff. So we're going to take the week off, and we will be back next week. And we'll be doing a build stream probably next Friday. Not this Friday, but next Friday. And probably continuing our Once Human streams there on Saturday. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace. Ooh.